Be a person of contentment. Be a person who is satisfied with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chose for him, chose for her. There was a man who used to wake up every morning and he would go to the edge of the sea and he would engage in his fishing and come home with only two fish. One fish he would give to his family, the other fish he would sell and reinvest in his family. One of his friends said to him, why do you only limit yourself to two fish? Why not four or five or ten? He said to him, then what? He said, well, then you will become more affluent. He said, then what? He said, then you can think about employing another fisherman to work next to you. He said, okay, then what? He said, well, eventually you can amass enough money to invest in a boat and bring you even more fish. He said, okay, then what? He said, then you can invest in a fleet of boats. Can you imagine? And you will become even more affluent. He said, then what? He said, then you can think about opening up your own fish store in town. He said, then what? He said, then maybe you can think about expanding and having a franchise of shops. He said, then what? He said, then you become a multi-millionaire. He said, then what? He said, then you have peace of mind. He said, my brother, I am already at peace. La ilaha illallah. In other words, why do you need to take me to the other side of the world in order to bring me to a destination that I have already arrived at? I'm already happy with what Allah has given me. I don't need any more. And what is even more beautiful than this? Uh, the words of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who said, summarizing the story in one sentence, لَيْسَ الْغِنَى عَنْ كَثْرَةِ الْعَرَضِ إِنَّمَا الْغِنَى غِنَى النَّفْسِ He said, being rich and prosperous and wealthy is not about having a lot of money, a lot of material possessions, no. He said, being prosperous is when your heart is content. That is when you are rich. When your heart is content. Allahu Akbar. Brothers and sisters, we are travelers. You are a traveler. You and I are passers-by in the life of this world. And as a passer-by, as a traveler, how many extras do you need? Much of the things that social media and TV has convinced us that we need are in fact extras that we don't need. And as a traveler, how many extras do you want to be carrying on your back? Lightest will be quickest on the day of judgment. Take that as a rule. Lightest will be quickest. So make your motto, make your slogan in life, O oh Allah. If you are pleased with me, if you are happy, then I don't mind what you give me and I don't mind what you withhold. Oh Allah, just be pleased with me. This is principle number two. Be a person of contentment.